I'm pretty much packed and ready to go. Before I go, I spend the day with my babies. So you can see my makeup. I went with the smoky eye. I always wear a smoky eye. And a new there are outlets for help mm -hmm. that are online. I myself, my website, kinkycurlycoilyme.com, is an outlet. In terms of regimen building, essentially, you obviously need a wash routine. You need to shampoo your hair. I know you may be someone who finds that shampoo dries out their hair. Does anyone in here find that shampoo is very drying? It is for a lot of people. It's not like you're alone. They do make an effort now to make moisturizing shampoos, and those are a lot um, less drying on your hair than if you're just using like a clarifying shampoo. Sometimes you actually have to look to see if there's a sulfate. Um, and of course, if you prefer to use sulfates, then you just use a nice moisturizing conditioner after or a deep conditioner. So don't be nervous about the shampoo. You really do need that. Um, I find a lot of people that I speak to, when I ask them about shampooing, they they say they don't do it, they love co-washes. I love co-washes too, don't get me wrong. When my hair was shorter, I used to do them a lot more. And now that my hair has grown, I just don't have as much time as I did for co-washes. So that if you don't have access to the co-wash product, because I know in America we have so many products available to us that you don't have here, you can use a conditioner. So your regular conditioner that goes with your favorite shampoo, you just use that. No shampoo, wet your hair, get it soaping, socking wet like you would before a shampoo, and then put the conditioner on, do the same thing, massage it through, and then you just rinse it out. This is not gonna give you the ultimate clean because it is not a cleansing shampoo product, so don't use it and be like, well, my hair doesn't feel really clean. It's not going to. So your wash regimen only needs two things. You need a shampoo or some type of cleansing agent, and you need a conditioner and you can use a conditioner that has a deep conditioning element. Like Marjorie said, she goes and she sits under the dryer. If you don't have time to sit under the, the dryer, I like to put a plastic cap. I use a plastic shopping bag. I, I have to save pennies wherever I can. I buy diapers and wipes all the time. So put the plastic bag on and then I put like, I have this thing called a turby twist. It's essentially like a towel but that they've made to just be able to work better. And by putting that on and just doing what you gotta do, dusting, cleaning, washing dishes, yelling at the kids, whatever, you can just deep condition all at the same time. And I know people who will go on the road, they'll put their beanie cap on, they're like, I'm deep conditioning. Killing two, three birds with one stone. Get it in where you can fit it in, okay? I get everybody co-sided right now. Um, Detangling tends to be one of the most challenging parts of having, a na having natural hair. Because I meet people who will say, well, I just put the shampoo on and I did what they do when I just went crazy like this and then I put the conditioner on and I went crazy like this and then I went to detangle it and I just went like this. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> no, that was the first, you, you was wrong from the very beginning. And I love what Marjorie said about sectioning. You have to section. You may not have long enough hair yet for a thorough deep uh, detangling session. Like some of you I see have teeny weeny afros, AKA TWAs. So you don't necessarily need to section your little TWA and all these little small pieces. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. But once you get past a certain length, you know, all right, it's absolutely time for sectioning. And section your hair into four if you can. But if four still is too much, do it into six, do it into eight, do it into as many as you need. Because the more sections you're working with, the faster you get through the section and the faster you over get through your hair and the less breakage and the less damage. Um, by a raise of hands, how many people in here, it takes them about an hour to detangle? Okay, look around. I want everybody, keep your hands up high and look around. If you say an hour, I would say an hour or more just in case I didn't capture you people who take two hours and three hours. <laughs> okay, about 30 minutes to almost an hour. Raise your hand if it takes you that much time to detangle. Raise your hand if it takes you less than a half an hour to detangle. Yes, I have a video on my YouTube channel where I actually show you detangling my hair in about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna teach you, this, this is a trade secret, so be very ready to write this down, okay? Or put it in your smartphone if you don't have the best memory. The, the, the trick for me is I detangle before I wash. And I started doing this when I started paying water bill, y'all. 
<laughs> the things in your life that make you change how you do things. Before, when I lived in an apartment with no babies, just me and my husband, I could run the water all day. So yeah, I'm going to be in the shower, have the music on, put the conditioner in, and my body's not even in the water because I'm sitting here detangling. And then I started paying water bill, and I was like, I'm not even using all the water. So I said, OK, we're going to do this before. So do it before. And this is how you do it before and you get through the tangles and the knots without all the breakage and the damage. I would suggest you can find now products that are like pre-treatment products. You can find them, but they're not really around. Not every company is making them. So you make your own. I call it the detangling cocktail. I have a video on how I make it. So if you want to see me make it from start to finish, you can watch that video. But I'm going to also tell you, get a spray bottle and fill it up with really warm water. I like to do it hot because it starts to cool down right away. So I make the water from my sink as hot as possible and I fill it in the bottle. Then add your favorite conditioner, something that's not expensive but is also very good and slippery because you wanna just glob it into the bottle. A very good amount, like make it really full. Don't put the whole bottle of conditioner, but a good amount. And then your favorite oil, if you like coconut oil, if you like olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, whatever your favorites are, or whatever you have available. I like to say favorites because I feel like you should use what you like versus me saying, use this one because it's my favorite and then you can't find it or you don't like it. So that's why I say that. But if you want suggestions, you just feel free to let me know and I'll say the, the name or something like that. And then you mix them all together. So you shake it up until it frothes, froths and it mixes very well. Section your hair. I usually part down the middle and then I keep one whole section together and then I use sections from here, holding the rest back, grabbing a new section. Spray it on so your entire section is soaking. I want that water dripping down your face. I want it all over and you want it to be fully saturated. And I like to use a wide tooth comb. The comb that I use specifically is by Goody. It's a mosaics comb, has a very wide handle here and then the teeth come out like super long like this. Um, I just so happen to have it in Goody, but there's so many companies that make it that way. It's just the one I purchased, but it doesn't matter if it's Goody or not. Take that section and you start at the ends, break them out and I keep going up. If I hit a snag, I just pull it apart with my fingers like this and then I put it back together and I rake and I just keep going up. And then when I get to the top and it fully goes through, I'm done, I twist or I just hold it with a clip. And then I continue. And if you sit there and you time yourself, you're gonna see you were done so fast, so much faster. So I highly recommend and suggest you try that using a detangling cocktail. When you're done with the cocktail, I, you, I would highly suggest you just throw it out. So don't make too much. And the reason why I say throw it out is because you've added water now, which is full of bacteria to your product. And it's just going to mold. And even if you can't see it, it's going to be a lot of germs in there. And if you're not washing every single day. I'm here till Sunday. <laughs> Put you on the spot. I'm here until Sunday. Have you enjoyed it? I have. Yeah. yeah, last night I went to Nando's. Yeah. And now nice. today I'm here. Yeah. If you have time, I'm, like I said, Vapiano's. Yeah, Vapiano's. Oh, I've never been to Vapiano's ever. I've always heard about it, but I've it's really, I like it. it. Where I is really it? Like it. Um, there's one off Behind. Oxford, Oxford Circus. Yeah. Um, just by um, Topshop. There's one in Soho as well. Yeah. We have a Soho. What does yeah. your Soho mean? Chinese. And a lot of Gay. LGBT. But what does it stand for? What does Soho mean? Oh, I don't know what Soho. Soho is just oh, okay. It's like the red dish, the red light. Like, yeah, the red light dish. Red light, yeah. like that's where the brothels and everything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sex shops. Sex shops. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's very kinky. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, today. Wait, this morning, all I could hear was you. What? On the other side. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> when I, when I, when they had put the camera on you too, and he was talking about like the two people that were here and he had asked you to pose for the camera. At first I couldn't see because I don't wear my glasses when I work. So from afar, like I can't really see. But when the camera zoomed in, I was like, I literally wanted to scream. I wanted to scream. I wanted to scream so loud. And then when you guys had, had peeked over, I was yeah. like, ah. 
No, I sound really try, bad. Try, try, try. So there's there's been a few things that I've been picking up, yeah. um, like fancy. fancy. Somebody had asked me, "What do you fancy?" Uh, when we talked about oh, restaurants, oh, what do you fancy? Oh, yeah. So what would you like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fancy heaven. Yeah. Um, now I can't do it because I'm on the <laughs> spot. Under pressure. Under, pressure. Yeah, under pressure. But I found myself saying some words and then like changing it. Mm -hmm. from how I would normally say yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to, like, pick up the tongue a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But, so it's, like, rubbing off on me. <laughs> when are you coming back? Yeah. 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 And I you had... Go to New York? Do you know what it is? And we, I, we, a little bit harder. York. New York. Yes, York. there you go. York. 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 Yeah, we go to New York. <laughs> you <laughs> 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 New York. Like, yeah. 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 New York. We but roll no, everything. You know it's like, I don't know if you find you do it. No, we all do it, actually. All British. At least black people yeah. must do it. Because a lot of the music and shows, shows are obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Highly yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Go back to your proper. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. It's weird though, because it's just I can't help it. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes it just it's just appropriate. Yeah. Like it's just, it's like just, it's just and it doesn't sound yeah. well. the certain um, things that just don't sound right in an yeah. English accent. No. Yeah. British. Yeah. yeah. You just have to. Girl. You girl. exactly. Girl. 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 Girl.